I'm very happy to be in this campus. It's really an ideal place, set in the mountains, in the old city. You see the wonderful stonework, and as you descend down uh, to the uh, classrooms and studios, it seems almost a perfect place for students to study, because to be just here itself is an education. It's really a marvelous place. And this morning we visited uh, one or two studios where they were studying uh, with the models, the uh, structure of the buildings in wood. And it seemed, the students seemed to be really in it, you know, to grasp the fundamentals of the structural system which they were studying, which I think was very interesting. I think it's very difficult to predict the future, which way we are going. But personally, I think the most important work for an architect to learn about sustainability is very important, I think, because the world is going to change very drastically. And uh, unless uh, our profession, that's architectural profession, is ready for it, we must be the, in the forefront of sort of uh, how we handle the global warming, how we uh, sort of, uh, sort of in, almost involve it in our architecture. You know, nowadays you just put photovoltaic and it's just like that. That's not the solution. I think we have to learn also from the past how this nice courtyard is. So this is itself a lesson that, you know, it's free of school, the wind is blowing. So, th so we have to learn from the past, but we have to now involve ourselves for what are the future possibilities, let's say, I would personally am very used to now using photovoltaic panels particularly of generating practically 50% of what is the power needed in a university or an educational background, uh, educational institute. So I think that's one thing which should be taught now very, very much. Second thing is I don't know how the wind uh, can be harnessed for energy, how to use uh, recycled materials, etc. So I think this is something which should be taught now because I think the architects should be in the forefront. They should be the leaders. So I think that's important. The second thing is the use of materials. I think appropriate materials. Climate and the other thing is culture. I think uh, though the world is homo becoming homogenized, we are all knowing more about each other through television, cinemas, and all the products which are being sold. But at the same time, I think there is almost a revolt against it. People want to understand their own cultures, and they don't want to be overrun with it. So I think Spain is a very good place <laughs> to, to, to be teaching students from all over the world that it's very important that their ethnic backgrounds are also important and their own cultures can co contribute to what I would cons consider is the global culture. So I think uh, local and global cultures have to be married at some stage in such a manner that the cultural values which you understand and appreciate from uh, other worlds, from uh, we are going to travel a lot, so you learn from everywhere. God knows whom are you going to marry in the next 10 years from there. So I think it's very important that the, the, the st architectural students from sociological point of view are involved in uh, the understanding of which way the world is going on.